Man, I'm sick of Godzilla. <laughs> a f monkey. <laughs> monkey brought me more monkeys. <laughs> Thank you, monkey. <laughs> Alrighty, all that weirdness aside, let's take a look at the Funko Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong with Battle Axe, and Battle Scarred Kong. And since I'm more excited for the Battle Axe version, we will be opening the Scarred Kong first. So, Walmart's really taking their pretty ass time. Uh oh. Ah well. So Walmart's taking their pretty heckin' time to get me the rest of my Godzilla vs. Kong Funko Pops. So I apologize for the major wait, and there's going to be more of a wait because the last couple that I have ordered, ah, they're all on back order. And they're saying that they'll be here by June 16th, but I have a hard time believing that too. Anyway, out of the plastic little clamshell, we have Monkey. And he looks pretty dang minty. He actually gets a hold of this before he gets scraped up, I believe, so... That's a little, um, weird. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be any monkeyticulation with this. It's just a nice PVC figure that we will be taking a closer look at in a second. Because now, we must talk about Kong with Battle Axe. Oh lord, he monkey with Battle Axe, yes. Alright, let's just get this guy out. There we go. Free him from the plastic clamshell. And first impressions. Very, very nice. I'm digging the orange eyes. I'm really not sure what directly inspired the orange eyes. I don't know if it's just the way that Kong's eyes look in the lights or whatever. I don't know if it was a hollow earth thing. I really wasn't paying attention to Kong's eyes too much. I mean, I know that they're of a yellowish orange looking color in the movie, but why am I talking about this? Let's take a closer look at both of these figures now, shall we? So when it comes to battle scarred Kong, I really do like the differing fur that's going on with Monkey's face over here he's got the light brown for the beard and he's got the darker brown for the rest of his body zero out of ten barely any monkey cheek and it doesn't look like there's going to be any major highlights on the back of the figure or even on the side over here though i do appreciate the ears funko good shizzle what i do really really like though is the very very vibrant red on monkey's chest over here just looks really really nice over what's already a scar on him and i do love the detail and paint for the scars that were already present. They're this dark faded purplish pink and it just looks fantastic. Funko went all out with these things and yeah they look really really good. We even have some scars up here on Kong's nostril and just to take another closer look at Kong's face all the wrinkles and line work going on over here just looks fantastic. Unbeatable type stuff, strong brow, it all looks fantastic. Wow, we even have detail on the monkey feet over here. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I know Kong's an ape. You can stop telling me that Kong's an ape. It's a joke. Is a mem. And yeah, we're gonna get some pretty nice detail on the hands as well. A lot of nice line work going on there, bit of a seam. And you can see some monkey fingernails up in there too. And if we look at the other hand, you can see all the monkey fingernails and line work and all that other good stuff, wrinkles. Now let's take a look at this crane. The crane looks okay. It, I mean, it looks a lot better than I was really expecting it to look on a smaller pop vinyl. Mind you, I really wasn't all that worried about what the crane would look like. It was more so what this would look like and for the most part this is really really impressive stuff for Funko. I really love the detail of the fur and how they made it look and I love that it's not flat and I love that you can actually look at the body and see the different strands of hair slash fur and his little belly button going on there. It just looks really really nice. It's a little messy over here when skin meets fur but for the most part on the majority of the figure everything do be looking rather nice. I am still upset that there's very minimal monkey cheek. Talking about Battle Axe Kong though. Oh man, this thing looks great. Again, the orange eyes. Love them. Scars on the nose, scars on the chest, and now we can get a better look at these. And you can actually see his monkey ditties through it with the nips and everything and the monkey belly button, but no, the scars over here are so much brighter and nice and they look so, so good. They're applied very, very well and it's cool to see them kind of fading out into the fur over here. Though I do kind of wish that the pink slash purple fleshy tone would have continued on because you can see that the scars are still there and everything, but I guess, you know, fur would kind of cover it. That's kind of what happens with scars. So 
I'm not too bummed about that. The axe, though, this is very interesting. I mean, I really wasn't expecting anything crazy when it came to Kong's battle axe, and this, I think, is just fine. Yeah, it's a little Pop-Tart looking. Looks like the wild berry purple Pop-Tarts. I miss those things so much. But anyway, the base of the axe over here, all just being like bone white, is very, very interesting. All things considered, we've had nothing but what looked like really aged up bone or a tree trunk looking color that's going on there. So it's interesting to see an all white one. Taking a closer look at the battle axe though, it's a very interesting choice of textures we have going on over here. Taking a look at the other side, you can see that it almost kind of looks like Godzilla's skin a bit. It doesn't look like it's been tied over with a bunch of strings or anything. It looks like uh, a Godzilla was um, flayed essentially and just added skin and a dorsal fin to the bone. I mean, I don't think that's too far a stretch. I mean, with how much turmoil this movie series, well, this movie in general went through, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some change-ups in what went down with this battle axe. I just find it pretty interesting that the detail and all this other stuff on this side of the axe is pretty similar to what Funko did on Godzilla's back over there. So I wonder just what this is based on or if it's just a coinky dink Could be former concept art or it could just be me reading too far into it as I tend to do. Anyway, we're gonna see the same amount of detail on Kongi Boy's hands over here. You're gonna have the wrinkles, gonna have the nails, gonna have some messy paint over here, which I don't think really could have been avoided, especially for a figure like this. Gonna be getting the same kind of fists on these too. I really, it's a little uncanny. <laughs> and you'll be getting the same amount of detail on the feet as well. I'm not seeing any major differences between the base fur for both of these figures. And aside from the eye color and what they have in their hands, there really isn't too much different about these figures. I honestly think they look pretty dang awesome and it makes me all the more impatient to finally get my Jumbo Monkey in from Walmart. Both of them. And even though scale isn't exactly why you buy Funko Pops, these figures look pretty good together. I mean, it kind of does seem like Kong's a bit taller than Godzilla, but also the heads are being angled down. And another thing that I wanted to talk about real quick, I don't think Kong suffered as bad from compacted face like Godzilla did. I don't know, just from the side and from the front, Kong just looks wholly good. I mean, I'm not saying this guy looks bad, but the compacted face and muzzle and everything like that, it just came off a little goofy after somebody pointed it out. I still think he's adorable, though. For the most part, though, these are of the standard size that you would normally get a Funko Pop in. I do believe they all look very fantastic with one another, and I truly cannot wait to get the rest of these things in, complete this collection, and then never Never buy another Funko Pop ever again. Battle Scarred and Battle Axe Kong are two loving additions to the Godzilla vs. Kong Funko line. Again, I apologize for not getting these things in a lot sooner. I'm kind of at the mercy of Walmart here, and we all know that they can be super duper incompetent when it comes to actually following through with pre-orders and shipping things out on time. But I personally feel these two things were worth the wait. They both look great, the details are fantastic, the paint apps are pretty much on point, and especially for something that's around the same price as a Playmates figure these days, these look well above their pay grade. Now, Funko Pops aren't going to be for everybody, and they certainly aren't for me, but it's Godzilla. It's Kong. We don't know how much of this we're actually going to be getting in the future, so I'm indulging on my collector's sweet tooth, nabbing all of them while I can, and in all honesty, I'm enjoying myself with these. Short, sweet, to the point, well painted, nicely detailed, two out of two stars for these lads. Yeah, I apologize if I got the uh, articulation portion wrong on some of these. It's just whenever I turn this guy's head, it does that. And that makes me very, very nervous, and I don't want to mess any of these things up, because given how the Godzilla vs. Kong figure lines are going, these might be sold out forever at some point. <laughs> I do so hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back sometime next week with a whole bunch of other lizard-related stuff, and I'll be starting a brand new three-part miniseries next week, which, if you follow me on Twitter, you already know what it is. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should totally follow me on Twitter, because I post some cool stuff there sometimes as well. And I simp over muscle-bound women, because Jesus, Mother Mary and Joseph, you are beautiful. All and based on analytics, a lot of people who are watching my videos aren't subscribed, so you should totally subscribe. I do some cool stuff, and I have some non-related Godzilla stuff coming out at some point this year, hopefully. I like a lot of things, and I promise I'm going to start talking about a lot more things other than just Godzilla. But yeah, Shin Rob Jira, hope you enjoyed. Thank you, patrons, social media, all that good stuff. See you all next time. Peace.